Hello viewers, welcome back. This time I present you butch Lafonte magnetic experiments, which can be used of course as magnetic motor. So here you can see the Lafonte Research YouTube channel link on which you can check the real devices, uh, not real devices, but the guy is experimenting with magnets and also it has some very useful information to understand how this is supposed to work. And now I will show you in my way what is his idea. Alright you so let me turn this around that you see what is here the idea. So I will try to describe components one by one and why this design of La Butch Lafonte is exactly like that. It, it's not the only design it can be but I think this one is the simplest to understand how this is supposed to work and what is the goal and what is the uh, conclusion from this uh, Butch Lafonte research of the magnetic fields. Yeah. Uh, so you can see, so this this uh, white part is the steel rods, so basically just steel rods. On the top, these two magnets on the top are fixed yeah? and they are much better to be electromagnets. Yeah? So I will describe later why. And then this is a fixed magnet which will not move anywhere. And this is the movable magnet. Yeah? So that's the, the, the key is in this magnet. And now I will explain what is the idea. So I'll put this to the top and set in parallel mode that you can see much better the, uh, the movement. So uh, the conclusion from Lafonte research is that uh, the, this magnet will be attracted of course to this magnet. Yeah, so that's normally. And then what is the problem? The problem when this magnet is attracted to that magnet, so in, in this position over here, now you need very big force to separate these two magnets again. Yeah? So that's the problem in, in reality. But uh, what uh, Butch Lafonte concluded is that when these two magnets are now between the steel rods in this position, that's why it's needed that mechanism, now it's very easy to separate bottom magnet. It doesn't, it, it needs many times uh, smaller force than if they are not in the between steel rods. Yeah? So, so now you can very easily separate these magnets to the, uh, let's say, bottom position. Yeah? So that's it. And the conclusion in the end is following. Yeah? So the conclusion is that um, this uh, attraction force created when this magnet is attracted to, to this stationary magnet is much higher than the force needed to return this magnet back. So, so, so this magnet in this position. Yeah? So, so attraction force it's much higher than the uh, separation force needed when this magnet is connected to the magnet when they are inside of the steel core. And that's it. Yeah? So I will post there is a very interesting channel from Lafonte Research Group and I will post uh, post it in the bottom of the video that you can go and search it uh, uh, on the internet. On the YouTube you can see many many examples of such devices but in different shapes. This is this one is I think the simplest and uh, I think the simplest to explain how is the idea. So so one more time so basically when this magnet is positioned near to that magnet now you need a big force to separate them. But if you move this steel rods to the close to that magnets, then you need very small force for that magnets to be separated from this magnet. Yeah? And so to return outside. So logically you will need some power to turn this mechanism to return the magnet back and some power to move this uh, this uh, this magnet to, to that position. But that's basically how, what Lafonte uh, showed in his experiments. It's much is much less force than attraction force created when this magnet uh, attracts to that magnet. And that's it. All right, viewers. So that was Butch Lafonte magnetic motor, or basically magnetic experiment, where you can see that much higher force is created when these two magnets, when two magnets are attracted to one in one to another then the force needed to separate these two magnets when they are inside of the steel core. Basically steel takes this magnetic field inside so it's, we need a small force to separate these two, these two magnets. Check this channel Lafonte Research 
and you will see that there are many examples how this with, with real magnets how this really works in practice and actually in some way create uh, shows that some kind of, of unity can be achieved so thank you for watching at the next video bye bye